I regret my vote for Buhari and Ganduji in 2015. They are the redefinition of disappointment, says Mahmoud. Mahmoud Galadansi, a kano based computer scientist, Islamic thinker and humanist who was instrumental as relates to conversing vote for Buhari and Governor Umar Ganduji in 2015, has taken it to social media to express his disheartment over the president and the governor's inability to pilot the affairs of Nigeria and Kano State, respectively. Galadansi was quoted as saying, I personally regret my vote for Muhammad Buhari and Governor Umar Ganduje in 2015. I never, for a single minute, thought this is how these people will disappoint us. Not only voting for them, I regret knowing them in my life. They are the redefinition of disappointments. Recall that both Muhammad Buhari and Governor Umar Ganduji of Kano State were first elected into their respective offices in 2015 before they were returned elected in 2019. Mahmoud is not the first person to express regret on their inability to deliver. Thousands of Nigerians have made similar remarks. Hmm. It is not a new thing. So there's no need of regretting because like uh, Wale Shoinka said that it, it's a surprising thing to him that that what could have made Buari to win the second time. But a lot of people still came out and said, no, oh, you guys are just jealous. You guys are just what? You, should, you guys don't have a, a electoral value that this and that. The man is so popular and this. What? Well, I think it's everybody that will, that will get to suffer whatever that comes at out of it if we think that we are enjoying the whole thing yes that means everybody is enjoying but if we think otherwise that means it's going to affect everybody the reason why this whole thing is just painful is that had it been it is those who voted them in they are the ones experiencing this suffering that we are experiencing it would have been a different book mentally it would have been better but whether good or bad whether you voted or you did not vote everybody must face the same music that is where the whole thing is really complicated so some people in the first place never voted. Some people complained. They said all manner of things before 2015. Now they are laughing. They said, you guys didn't know anything. That we told you guys. We told you everything. But you said, no, you wanted a change. Of course, there's need for that change. But those people forgave the people that voted in 2015. Meaning that maybe by the second term, they will have a, a rethink or a change of heart. But hmm, re reverse was the case. But some people will stick up and say, oh, we didn't vote for them. They rigged their way in. They did a manner of things and all of that. Irrespective of anything, we still have uh, some numbers because we cannot rig over nothing. You must have something on ground that you want to rig on. So some people still contributed to the rigging because we could see a lot of them that came out and started shouting four plus four say baba say baba i think people should be shouting say baba say baba now somebody will come and tell me oh why are you talking like that why are you saying that? you can say that that is your problem but one thing is that we are all in this together those who know how to play the policies those who don't know how to play, play the policies we are all suffering the whole thing you can imagine what is happening in kano state you can imagine well just like i said everybody is going to pay for everything it's not going to be only one person. And people who did not contribute to all of these things, they are so hungry. They are really, really, really angry and they are not happy about this whole thing. Someone says, garbage in, garbage out, stupid voters. Until we open and stop, open up and stop voting on the basis of religion or tribe, we will never get it right. Yes, oh, this person is my person. This is person is my person. I'm still saying it today. Anybody can be the president of this country. In as much the person is capable, in as much the person has what it takes to be there. But unfortunately, you, you don't even know. You don't even know because these people, in most times, they, uh, most times they just deceive you. They will come and tell you what you will want to hear. They will tell you they know the problem. They know you know the problem. They will tell you the problem. These are the problem. These are the things that are uh, making us not to improve as a country. You yourself, you just believe that, okay, this person have a, a knowledge of what has been happening. But let them enter again. <laughs> they will change to another thing. They will change to another thing. Most of them, they don't have the political will to, to put the trigger they always fall for all the for all, all these uh, sentiments and all, and all of that. So it's really difficult at times because those who you think that will do the right thing, you will see that they are not just ready to do anything. Or maybe they will they will be there, they will be overwhelmed. We, they will be overwhelmed. That is another thing again. If we talk about okay, uh, some people 
we are looking at them, checking their antecedents, you know that they are not capable of anything. But because of a religion, because of a sentiment, because of a, a whatever affiliation, people see go ahead and vote them. But there are some people that you know that they have what it takes. You just like, oh, ordinarily, this person can do it. But at the end of the day, when the person gets there, you will not hear them. You don't see them again. You don't hear anything from them. They will start this, uh, they are playing game. Playing game here and there. Uh, someone says here that the uh, APC sack, uh, sack Buari Ganduji. The problem is Kwan Kwan so, and um, PDP in Nigeria. Okay. Now, their supporters are coming, are coming to say that uh, the problem is uh, Kwan Kwan so, and PDP. No, it is not the problem of a... Uh, this uh, so called gentleman. Now, someone said, Now, thunder will fire you and your regression day. The blood of Nigerians will cry against you despite your regrets. Your myopia has killed scores of Nigerians, and tomorrow you will claim intelligence. Those who are paying you to write this rubbish will regret sending you to do this. Uh, somebody believes that uh, this person is not saying the obvious or is not stating the obvious that everything is okay that they pay this person to come and write it of course you are there everybody is there we are seeing what is happening uh, so of course so some people they have eyes but they cannot see they have ears they cannot hear at least he is bold enough to admit regret me too from kogi i regret voting them in some say i'm sorry bro there is nothing you can do it's just too late it's just too late you have to bear it everybody must bear it not even only him everybody must bear it. whether we like it or not everybody must bear the the what is happening this now morning oh, you never see anything by the time they finish their tenors you will understand properly so before you queue up to vote next time you will consult your elders for advice uh, someone says stability of Southwest, a professor of law, running as VP for an illiterate sponsor by his Western educated wealthy brother. I think I have seen it all. That's what this person is saying. Disappointment is just an understatement with this backward set of leaders. Oh, I've been looking for those that voted for Buari since 2015. You are the first to agree. Wait, I'm coming to arrest you because. You put Nigerians in this mess, not just Buhari, but you. <laughs> I want you people, but you never listen. Okay? You don't have to regret. It is your choice, so pretend not. <laughs> you are among those who contributed to our present condition in Nigeria, and you are now complaining. Let's suffer it together. Nigeria we never ever forget this mistake in 2015. Or mistake of 2015 elections, removing a graduate president on power and put the uh, illustrious or illiterate one because of ethnic and religions religious sentiment. Humanity love is bigger than religion. President Goodluck Jonathan, Nigeria hold you apologies one billion times. Something are true, oh my brother. Me too. I regret to. They are beginning to come out. Those that voted, they are beginning to come out. You know, just like I said, if really that this government is sincere, everything that they have said about you, you would have disappointed the people. People would have like, oh, but we thought that this man is not going to do it, but see what is happening now. It's fine. But forget all those things. Some people come and say, oh, they, they constructed a railway. They do this and this. They did this and that. All those things are just a rigmarolling. It's just window dressing in my... That is just the way it is. We do this because, like I always say, there is no government that will come that will not even embark or do one or two projects. They are always doing it. So, the magnitude of the project or the development is what we are talking about. But we are still just moving round circles. That is why this whole problem is just like that. Uh, why the regret is your blind eyes now opened? You got what you wanted. How much wep weapons did you buy? How many non indigenous did you threaten to kill if? Jega did not rig election. He did, he did, and you have it. Enjoy it while it lasts. Are you feeling for Nigerians or what expected from APC to make your pulse loaded after all you did for them? Who knows? Maybe you would have been one of their praise singers if they had okay, done what they needed to do as expected. One man, one vote. It is equally good that they came on board if not if even if the former government gives you a bag of rice for 3k you won't be okay let's be of course just like uh, somebody has said i think a uh, shewusani and some other people said 
uh, it's a good thing that this present government or the president came. If not, people would have thought, oh, had he been uh, Buhari uh, won the election or he came for you know to become the president, that Nigeria would have been a better place. Nigeria would have been a better place, but now we can see. But one thing is that, like people always ask, that if this kind of a situation presents itself next time to us, what are we going to do? What Nigerians, what are they going to do? Because Nigerians, they easily forget. They easily forget. And one problem is that, like uh, we, all, we know, those who know the right thing, they are always behind the keyboard. They don't come out on the day of the election. Those who do not know their right from their left, once they just give them rights, those are the ones that you will see on the feed. Those are the ones that you will see on the feed. And at the end of the day, those who will decide for you. They will decide your fate for you. If we all can go out, those who know the right and those who always see the future, those who know all the history, if we can go out and just vote for the right person, I think most times maybe it will, it will favor us. But no, they are always behind the keyboard. My brother, that feeling is very mutual and cut across 36 states. It is where... I really regret big one. Another person is saying that. Someone said you are reaping what you sowed. So guys, I don't know what you think about what this guy has said. Of course, I know that you guys have your opinion. Leave your opinion down there in the comment 